Let's go! Oh, what? What's going on, guys? It's your boy TG Jewel here, back with another awesome episode of the Jewelverse. And in today's episode of the Jewelverse, we have a pretty sick one. This is a debate that has been going on for a while now, so it's time we find out who is the strongest rival of Jenga. Is it Rock Leon or is it Lightning El Drago? Now, before you guys start saying anything in the comments, obviously, Lightning El Drago was always superior in the show, but it's a lot different in real life. For example, in the last episode of the Juvers, when we evolved Poison Serpent, we talked about how crazy Poison Serpent was in the show, but in real life, obviously, it's not nowhere near as powerful. So, it is time to see who is stronger in real life. Who is the strongest rival for Storm Pegasus. So now that we've covered the fact that Beyblades in the show are not as strong in real life, I mean, obviously, but you know what I mean by that. Like, like Kerbix in the show was really strong, but it also is in real life. Poison Serpent in the show was really strong, but it's not nowhere near as strong as it should be. Before we start any battles, I wanna go ahead and tell you guys the backstory of the rivalries. We'll start off with Storm Pegasus and Rock Leon. Then after that, I will be telling you the backstory of the next rivalry, Lightning Drago and Storm Pegasus. So starting off with Rock Leon. All right guys, so the story is really long, but to sum up this backstory, we're gonna start from the beginning. By the way, there's gonna be a lot of spoilers this episode, so just be careful. So Kyoyo, which is of course the owner of Rock Leon, was a very powerful blader, which was actually an owner of a gang. He owned a gang called the Face Hunters, which basically they would go around and they would steal other bladers' points. You guys are Face Hunters, aren't you? Hmm, nice one, you noticed. And we know you have quite a few points saved up. Um. <laughs> So after Kenta was forced to battle them, Jenga ended up saving the day, he defeated them all, I mean, he absolutely destroyed them, like, just, yeah, just destroyed, look at their faces. But yeah, this is pretty much how uh, Jenga got introduced to Metal Fusion. The name's Jenga. Jenga Hagana. After that, the gang went ahead and reported this to Kyoya. Like I said, he's the leader of this gang, and let's just say he didn't take it very well. He basically threatened his gang and told them to handle it, or they're gonna be in some serious trouble. You will be really sorry if you don't man up and take care of this stinker or whatever his name is hmm well then just do whatever you have to do so after that meeting with Koya, the gang decided to gang up they got everybody in the gang so around a hundred bladers and they literally did a hundred versus one beyblade battle where they got the entire gang and just battled jenga but you know jenga pro armor of course he took the victory destroying every blader there That's impressive. As you guys just saw, Kyoya was there watching the whole time and he was really impressed. He finally found somebody that can actually match him, you know? He took it very personal and this is where the rivalry begins. Who are you? I am Kyoya Tatagami. Kyoya ended up telling his gang to steal uh, Kenta's Beyblade. Then they told Jenga if he didn't battle Kyoya on the building, they'd throw it off the building. And of course, as you know, Jenga, he is not going to back down to a battle. So here we are, the first battle of this rivalry. One of the most nostalgic battles. It is so legendary. Okay, three, two, one. Let it rip. So it was an insane battle, it was really intense. I mean, to be fair though, Leon was dominating. Uh, I mean, shoo, Storm Pegasus was just struggling an insane amount. But as you can see, Storm Pegasus and Jenga ended up finding a way to use that tornado as an advantage to get flown into the air and then, you know, use that special move, which as you guys know is OP. But as you can see, Kyoya lost and he really got humbled and he completely changed ever since then. So after that battle, some uh, mysterious man appeared. Do you want to become even stronger? This is actually Doji, the leader, the owner of an organization, an evil organization called the Dark Nebula. Doji actually has history with Jenga, but we're gonna get more into that once we talk about Lightning El Drago's back history. But Doji ended up coming and he found out about uh, Kyoya's loss. And as you know, Kyoya's really upset about that loss. So he came offering Kyoya more power, more strength. And of course, Kyoya took the offer. So at the Dark Nebula's organization, their hideout, uh, Kyoya was going through some crazy training under doji and yeah he just drastically would get stronger as the time went by i mean they were literally doing training that was specifically against jenga like 
Literally. Jinga! Jinga Hagane! We are almost ready to proceed with the next phase of training. Ten days ahead of schedule. <laughs> so after all that training that Kyoyo had done under the Dark Nebula, he finally had his rematch with Jinga. And this was crazy! Wow, this was crazy. Yeah, guys, so this battle was absolutely intense, even more intense than the first battle. But yeah, Jinga was getting destroyed even more than the first battle. Like I said, I mean, just crazy, yo. Like, like I said, I mean, Leon did have a lot of training specifically to counter uh, Jinga's moves and just go against Jinga as well. You know, Jinga was just getting destroyed. But the more Jinga got destroyed, the more he started to notice that Rock Leon was like crying, he said. And he saw that Leon was just doing what Kyoya said, but he wasn't truly happy. You know? And then he was like, all right, Kyoya, I'm going to show you the true Blader spirit. And then he went crazy. He did his special move he was victorious this is the bond between me and pegasus but after this battle this actually made kyoya and rock leon really strong because kyoya saw how strong the bond with storm pegasus and jinga was and he made his bond stronger with rock leon <laughs> leon that's right you've always been there by my side so after this battle and after Kyoya realizing that he wasn't treating Rock Leon well he ended up bonding with Rock Leon making them a lot lot stronger which you will see later on in the show but this is really important because now Kyoya has unlocked a lot of potential but hey Kyoya changed from being a douchebag to being one of my absolutely favorite characters in the series what a legend but all of a sudden doji appears and this is where we start on the backstory of lightning el drago <laughs> it is time we start the backstory with storm pegasus and lightning el drago Hmm. So after being interrupted, Jinga looked at Doji and was like, Hey, I remember this guy. And he had a flashback of Doji and Ryuga taking the Forbidden Bay, which was actually from the village that Jinga was from. But yeah, as all these flashbacks started kicking in, Jinga got extremely upset and wanted to battle Doji. But Doji didn't want the beef, so he dipped. So Jinga then tells everyone how he's been on this mission to become the very strongest so he can stop this from happening and basically explains the power the true power of the forbidden bay because i don't think they understand how powerful it is it was literally used for war and all types of crazy stuff so yeah he gets everybody to listen up and he ends up going to the dark nebula organization with all these bladers including kyoya by the way that's right, Kyoya's part of the team now. So they finally found the organization's hideout. They pulled up, they're trying to get through the gate, but they can't, there's base flying everywhere. There's literally helicopters throwing bays everywhere on the floor. And then Kyoya pulls up, clutches it up. Come on now, I mean, it's the legend, Kyoya. What do you expect? Of course, that nice tornado destroying every helicopter in the way, destroying all the bays. Then Kyoya had an idea to open up the gate. He told them all to ride the tornado and do a joint special move. And just like that, they made it in. So once they got in, there was a bunch of booby traps. But after they got past all the booby traps, Jinga and Doji ended up going in a 1v1 fight. Jinga was going ham. He was using a bunch of his power. And then all of a sudden, the one and the only, that's right, the legendary Dragon Emperor was awakened. So after awakening El Drago and Ryuga, the building just started to collapse and then all of a sudden, here we go. <laughs> so it's you! Well, long time no see, Jinga Hagane! Ryuga! And just like that, this legendary rivalry begins. So after this reunion, Ryuga shows off that Forbidden Bay Lightning El Drago and just, just talks a lot of smack saying how he is now the strongest blader in the world and all this. But Jinga doesn't back down, they challenge each other to a fight and this is where we get the first 1v1 in this absolutely 
insane legendary rivalry. This is Jinga's chance to defeat Ryuga so he can stop Ryuga and the Forbidden Bay from doing anything crazy. It was an absolutely crazy battle, and this is just the first battle. And by the way, I haven't even said anything about Metal Masters or Metal Fury. This is just based off of Metal Fusion. Of course, we're going to do some for Metal Masters and Metal Fury, but for now, it's going to be Metal Fusion. But yeah, they had a crazy battle. Ryuga started to talk about Jinga's dad, which he knew would get under his skin. He purposely tried to get... Jinga really, really upset, and he did. He succeeded. He got Jinga so upset, he lost control, and he did this in order to get a full recovery for Lightning El Drago because Lightning El Drago and Ryuga, they get power from this energy. So yeah, they pretty much got Jinga really mad so they can get a full recovery on Lightning El Drago since they just got awakened, but yeah, let me tell you, man, Jinga was not having it. He lost complete control, and the battle continued. <laughs> Unfortunately for Jinga, he wasn't fighting with his base spirit. He was just fighting with complete anger and he just, he couldn't. He couldn't perform well. I mean, this dude got destroyed. Ryuga ended up ending it off with a crazy attack, a crazy special move. And that ended the first battle of this rivalry. But that pretty much sums up the backstory rivalry for Lightning No Drago and Storm. Pegasus, of course, there was many, many more rivalries along the show of Metal Fusion and battles and Metal Masters and Metal Fury. But I mean, we can just go on and on and on. But yeah, this is around the start of the rivalry of Jinga and Ryuga, so uh, hey, I think it's about time we start some battles. Now, of course, Ryuga and El Drago have always been a step ahead, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have the stronger rivalry. I mean, how can you be in a rivalry with someone that's stronger than you? You feel me? That's why I personally think that Rock Leon and Storm Pegasus were the best rivalry in the history of Beyblade. Now, in the same time, yeah, they were even rivalry, they had even strength, but think about it. Imagine an attack right spinning bay versus an attack uh, left spinning bay. Now, that's also an insane rivalry that's why i kind of contradict myself and i'm like i don't know did i really mean that it's just it's a hard one guys the winner of this battle has the right to call themselves the best rival of storm pegasus but this is for metal fusion of course we're gonna do this again for metal masters and then we're gonna do it again for metal fury but hey let's go ahead and see who the best rival of jenga is in three two one we usually do a first to seven but we're gonna go ahead and do a first to five here goes nothing remember this jenga you won't be defeated by Ryuga or you. It'll be me, Kiyoya, who does. <laughs> Ryuga, this won't be easy. <laughs> Ryuga, get ready to be smashed into the ground. <laughs> no need to, because you're the one who'll kiss the pavement. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, all right, let's see who's gonna be taking this first round. Who's it gonna be? Oh, and Rock Leo taking the first round with a nice knockout, leaving it to a one to zero. Let the next round begin. Ryuga, you're just one small step on my way to get to that final where Jenga waits for me. Got it? You're babbling again. Shoot. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Oh, wait, what? Same move will work on me? Lion Gale Force Wall! Hey, what? No! Getting knocked out, then coming back in, then getting knocked out once again. Getting destroyed from Rock Leon. Leaving the score to 2 to 0. Leon is absolutely dominating so far. Let the next round begin. Go shoot. 3, 2, 1. Go shoot. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see. Oh. Leon! Why aren't you down yet? What's keeping you standing up still? <laughs> D 
Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Did you really think you could defeat me? Three, two, one, go shoot. All right, all right, all right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, and Rocky Young will be taking the W, leaving it two, eight, three, two, one. Let the next round begin. We are actually going to be changing the mode on Lightning El Drago. I'm going to win. I have to so I can battle Jenga, who'll be waiting for me once I get past this guy. <laughs> go shoot. Three, two, one, go shoot. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Huh? Who's it gonna be? Who's it? Kick it! You're not even worth the dirt on my shoes as an opponent. It's gonna be. Oh, and another draw. Go shoot. Three, two, one. Let it rip. <sighs> Go ahead and switch or drag Oh shoot! Three, two, one, let it rip! All right, all right. El Drago! Interesting. This really is kind of funny, isn't it, Ryuga? All right. Oh! Go shoot! Three, two, one, go shoot! All right, all right, let's see, let's see. I don't get the joke. Uh. Let's see. Oh! Lighting El Drago taking that round, catching up to Rock Leon, leaving it to a two Lighting El Drago and a three Rock Leon. Let's see if Lighting El Drago can tie up the score in the next round. Go shoot! Let it rip! Dark move! Dragon Emperor soaring by strike! El Drago with the instant knockout showing no mercy to Rock Leon at all. Leaving it to a draw. It is now a 3-3. Three to three. It is time for the tiebreaker. Oh shoot. 3, 2, 1. Go shoot. You think you're so great. I'll take care of you in one shot. El Drago. All right. Oh, and Lightning El Drago winning the tiebreaker. Taking the lead finally. Leaving it to a 4. Lightning El Drago and a 3 to Rock Leon. Is this it? Is this going to be the final battle? Lightning El Drago or is Rock Leo gonna clutch it up? Go shoot! Go shoot! All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. You can't keep me down. I will never be crushed, not now or ever. Oh, and Rock Leo clutched it up, leaving it to a final battle, ladies and gentlemen. It is a four Lightning El Drago and a four Rock Leon. This is literally the final battle. Whoever wins this battle will be going up against Storm Pegasus next. So, hey, let's see who it's going to be. Stop what you're doing right now and let me know in the comments section below what team are you in. Are you on Team Rock Leon or are you on Team Lightning El Drago? I know it's a really hard choice, but I'm going to go with Rock Leon because it is my second favorite Beyblade in the world after all. But, hey, let's see who takes it. Who is Jenga's strongest rival? Uh, uh, I'm still here. You... Quitting on me? Come at me more! Ha! You're no match for me! What? However, I can't remember anyone taking so many of my direct hits without completely collapsing. I give you credit for that. Ha! Same to you, I guess. I haven't met many battle bleeders who can rise up to my level. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What happened? Is there power drain? El Drago and Leon are both nearing the limit of their stamina. The next attack will probably decide it once and for all. Go shoot! Go shoot! And the winner is the one and the only... I'm putting everything I've got into this one final attack. Wait for me, Jenga! Quiet, you. I'll finish you up right here and right now.
What? What is going on right now? Wait, wait, it's not over until it's over. No, come on, Leon, get back in. Get back in. No! No, he didn't give up to the very end. Ryuga, what's wrong? Playtime is over, little one! Ryuga, what did I just see happen there? Don't tell me El Drago has done that to Ryuga! <laughs> Just when I thought it was getting good, now this circus act is becoming a bit much. I don't know who to give this to, guys. I don't know who to give this to, guys. That was crazy, because Rock Leon knocked out Lightning No Dragon. The Lightning No Dragon came back in, knocked out Rock Leon, and then Rock Leon was just perfectly balanced right here. That was the funniest thing ever. Wow, that was a crazy final battle. But to decide who will win it, we're gonna do one more battle, because honestly, Leon deserves that, because he did get knocked out, and then, you know, does it count since Lightning Little Dragon came back in the stadium? I don't know. So we're gonna go ahead and start the actual final battle to decide this 1v1. Let the games begin. Go shoot! Go shoot! Right here it goes! And the winner of this... Come on, Leo! Special move! King Lion Furious Blast Shot! Use everything that we've got left! It's one on one, it's the one and the only king of beasts, Rock Leo! Wow, that was an absolutely insane battle, guys, between the king of beasts and the dragon emperor. Absolute banger. Let me know in the comment section below who you think is the strongest rival. We have to keep doing these, guys. We have to do it for Metal Masters, Metal Fury, so stay tuned in. But instead of doing a 1v1 with Storm Pegasus, how about we do a three-way battle? If you guys enjoy these videos, then make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and click off so you're notified every time we upload a daily video and you don't have to miss out on content like this. I also highly recommend you guys check out my other socials. They will all be in the link in the description below. But hey, let the bonus battle begin. So I always get asked where I get my Beyblades from and I have a solution for you guys. So if you click any one of our videos, go to the description below, click the link tree. You'll be taken to a page with all of our socials. One of our socials is Bay Station. We recently partnered up with this Bay shop. It is absolutely amazing. We have Beyblades from Metal Fusion, Metal Masters, Metal Fury. We have Burst Beyblades. We have String Launchers and Attachments. All loaders will be shipped on the same business day so that means your product will be delivered to your front doorstep very quickly we have one of the best return policies out there you have up to 60 days that's two months to decide whether or not you want to return your product maybe you didn't like the product maybe you wanted another Beyblade instead of that one maybe you weren't satisfied but guess what you can go ahead and return it and the best part about it is that we will be paying for the shipping of returns we guarantee 100% of your money back within those 60 days I'm actually gonna be ordering Storm Pegasus and Lightning No Drago both of these bays are insane we have rivals right here both bays come with string launchers so we're gonna test the quality on the baits and the string launchers once you guys are at the checkout you'll be taken to this page where you can put my discount code my discount code is the geoverse remember use code the geoverse for a discount on bay station bay station is only available in the usa but give me a picture of you using my code on instagram or discord and i will give you a free discord roll oh shoot oh shoot oh shoot 